go on the pie day. I'm uh, pretty sure we're not going to get... Well, Bye-bye. Let's pause. Let's pause. Gently. Gentle, 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 mm. gentle. Mm. Very gentle. All right. Pie, often resented uh, by the lowercase uh, Greek, G-R-E-E-K, <laughs> pie, stands as a fundamental mathematical <laughs> constant renowned for its role in geometry. It represents the relationship between a circle's circumference, C-I-R-C-U-M-F-E-R-E-N-C-E, -E -E, and its diameter, revealing that the distance around a circle's edge is slightly more than three times the distance across its center. For any circle, the distance around the edge is a little more than three times the distance to a calculator and pressing enter mm -hmm. will yield the result 3.14159264. This is a rounded representation due to the fact that a calculator's display can only display a finite number of digits. Pi is actually an irrational, I-R-R-A-T-I-O-N-A-L number. That means not a rational number. It also means cannot be expressed as a ratio of two integers. That is most often approximate. Oh, okay. Pi is actually an irrational number that is most often approximated with the decimal 3.14 or the fraction 22 over 7, which I didn't know that. Okay. Okay. Let's start some spelling. I think I need to back you up a little tiny bit more. There you go. Mm -hmm. Got a couple of good um, words to spell. Start with circumference. What'd you get on your, I think you got pizza on your pants. Pizza. Okay. Circumference. The end. Uh, I then. Uh, R then. Uh, C-I-R. Then uh, C end. Versus the diameter. Three. Three times more. Okay, good job. And typing pi into a calculator and pressing enter mm. will yield the result what? Let's see how many digits mm. you can do. Okay, there's a lot of digits here. Okay, pi. Three. Three. And then we need a point. We don't have a point. You can just use this as a point. Three point. Okay. Three point. Yep. One and. Yes. 
first spelling. Then we'll get some gummy bears, okay? Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's a tough day, huh? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna keep going with pi, or do you want to go to the next question? No. Okay, we'll we'll finish with that number. It's three point one four one nine. Oh, excuse me. See, I can't even do it. Three point one four one five nine two six five four. Okay. Um, explain. Okay, wait. No, pi is an irrational number. What it, what does that mean? Well, we're just gonna go with the easy one here. Mm -hmm. oh, these really don't make sense to me, but it's okay. Uh, I and uh, I then uh, yes, okay. It's not is mm -hmm. and and uh, and then uh, oh, and uh, then uh, a and not a uh, r and uh, a then good job. Keep going. by pi. It's a special number that's been studied by many famous mathematicians like Fibonacci, Newton, Leibniz, I'm not sure how you say mm -hmm. that, L-E-I-B-N-I-Z, and Gauss, G-A-U-S-S. -S. They've toiled, T-O-I-L-E-D, that means labored or worked, to figure out what pi is and how it's used in math. Early decimal approximations, A P P O X M A T I O N S for pi, were obtained in a number of different ways. In ancient Babylon, people who stretched ropes to measure things thought pi was about 1.25. No, I'm sorry. Well, 3.125. That's what I meant to say. It was about 3.125. Oh. The Egyptians, E G Y P T I A N S, who were great builders, thought it was close to 3.16. They didn't have fancy tools like we do now, so they had to get creative. One clever guy named Archimedes, A R C H I M E D E S, from ancient Greece came up with a cool way to get closer to Pi's value. He drew lots of gummy bears. Yes, almost done. Let's do another paragraph and then we'll get your gummy bears. He drew a lots of shapes inside and outside, making them with more and more sides until he got to a 96 sided polygon. By doing this, he got a range for pi showing that it's somewhere between 3.14 and 3.1429. It was a big breakthrough. B-R-E-A-K-T-H-R-O-U-G-H in figuring out pi's value. Okay. Early decimal blank for pi were obtained in a number of different ways. Uh, mm. Mm. Uh, a then, uh, a then, k, k, 
Approximations from Pi were obtained in different ways. Okay, who were the great builders? Great builders. sequence and you really liked it. Uh, that was a long time ago. That was probably like last spring, wasn't it? Give me a synonym for toiled. I mentioned a couple in the article. Uh, uh, okay, so I love that. W then. Yeah. W then. Uh, o and there you are. Uh, w O. Oh, slow down. Slow down. Uh, w O R uh, then. stretched ropes to measure things, thought pi was about what number? Remember, we're going to use this as a period. It seems like you're, it's just hard to do it on this number board. Okay? okay. We're going to do three and then three and then point and then one and one and two then that's it. 3.125. The Egyptian builders who were, that, well, Egyptians who were great builders thought it was close to blank. Okay? Three and point. That's right. Then one and six. Good job. 3.16. And Archimedes drew and drew until he got a blank sided polygram. Polygon. Sorry. I made up a new word, I think. Nine and nine and six. Good job. Ninety-six sided polygram. Polygon. Why am I? Oh, it's a polygram. I'm gonna look this up. Maybe I made a new word. Okay, this is the last one, I think. Okay. I'm not sure if you know this question. I know I would not know this an this question or this answer. I should say. Ancient Babylon is now what country? I then R and A and there you go. Q. Iraq. Perfect. Of course you knew it. You know much more about that stuff than I do. Okay, you did great. I know I can tell your eyes are bugging you today. But you still hung in there, bud.